Very elusive spawner, and I think I'm being tracked. I think I'm being tracked. Okay, yep. So, welcome back to another. Whoa, hello. Okay, so welcome back to another. Oh dear, I'm full. Uh, episode of Steam Log. So, yeah, after being. Huh, he's learned. He's learned. He's a smart. <laughs> What an evil guy! Did you see that? The little guy just pushed him in. Uh, All right, so welcome back to another episode uh, of Steam Log, and as you can see, we have found our first spawner. Uh, and yeah, this is not actually my bow. It's uh, I I was fighting skeletons, and I was I'm actually down here on a mining trip. Uh, I found a cave while digging out my place. So yeah, let's quickly do this. Oh no, 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 no. I really should have neutralized it. Nope, get away from me. Get away from me. Okay. Wait, this... Does this spawner seem ill-proportioned to you guys? Yeah, it does. It's five by seven. Shouldn't it be a cube? Okay, this is weird. Let's see what's in this... Um, this is, I find weird, because this is a double chest. Do they have double chests in spawners? This looks really shifty. Okay, so there's a respiration and knockback book in here. Wheat, buckets, iron, string, bread, gunpowder, and redstone. Since this is the first spawner we found, we're going to keep it gonna make a probably an exp farm out of it but uh this is this is weird i would say this looks tampered with but the thing is if it's tampered with why does it have such bad stuff in it okay so this is our first spawner and as you may have seen may or may not have seen there is a chest on this side there we go here. So it's pumpkin seeds and melon seeds. Have we got pumpkin seeds and melon seeds? I don't think so. Okay, so we're gonna take some of these. Actually, do we? I think we have pumpkin seeds, but not melon seeds. Let's take these. Ah, uh, we can throw away the the rotten flesh. Let's take these. Take the bread. Uh, the rails we can keep. The potato we can. Do we have potatoes? Yes, we do. Sorry, I'm everywhere today. It's it's a bit uh, unfocused, I know. Oh, I thought that redstone was uh, eyes of a spider then. Okay, um... This is rather weird. Uh, slightly unorthodox. I think I'm gonna go up to the surface by pillar. Oh, we're at level 8. I didn't know spawners came down this low. Okay, I'm gonna go back and then I am gonna come back here in a little while. Uh, off camera, of course. So, yep, I'll see you guys in a second. Oops, wrong way. Okay, so we're back and I just wanted to show you guys this. So the spawner is down there and there is a little passage ooh, bit of lag, bit of passageway down here, and there is another chest with diamonds, put watermelon seeds, bread, lapis and I think iron before. That's crazy. I I literally stopped, uh, went back and came back to, for some inventory space. And there was just all these goodies around the corner. That was rather, rather unusual. But then again, it is at diamond level, so I guess we should have expected it. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to keep carrying on looking around. And if I find anything more interesting, then I'll show you guys. Just wanted to show you guys one more thing. 
uh, I did come across the spider spawner when I was going for the uh, obviously I'm in a abandoned mine shaft so I'm obviously gonna find some uh, some uh, Point poisonous spider spawners, so that was of no real significance. I just wanted to show you guys I did find a spider spawner. I didn't really want to use it, so yeah, that's where I'm where I stand. Okay, so we're done with that little uh, mining trip, and uh, as you can see here, I've uh, enclosed, I may have shown this last time, I'm not sure, but I'm showing you guys this again, I've enclosed it all, and there's just a discreet little chest down there that is still pumping items from my, that's weird, shouldn't make a noise, it's still pumping items from my uh, mine down there, up here, so that's really fixed now, I mean there is, Possibly some item lag and there is one item that gets stuck somewhere, but I can't find it So I mean it's only one item anyway, so it'll get flushed up next time. It's activated. So Yeah, don't ask <laughs> If you um This obsidian texture pack you'll be seeing for a while because uh, I'm still currently messing with my uh, As you can see I'm currently still messing with my texture pack and I shouldn't be having this helmet on but yeah, basically I'm trying to change the colors of obsidian to uh, be something a bit more buildable with same thing with the ne oh hello you same with same thing with the never brick I'm still hearing zombies so I'm still uh, same thing with the never brick something a bit more lighter color to to better to be building with so I'm messing around with it. each one of these colors. As you can see, there's some green, there's some blue, there's some yellow, there's some red, and there's some dark bits there. Basically, each one of those colors represents a different set of colors around this obsidian. Who, oh, who knew obsidian was made up of so many colors? There's some purple, there's some black, there's some dark indigo in there. It's crazy. So, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys... Well, I wanted to. Sh I first I wanted to avoid the the never portal, but in here, this is my cow farm. We originally sketched it out before we uh, we brought the cows up and we eliminated all the cows down there. We can't really see the cows. I mean, once you get near here, there is no doubt in your mind that this is a cow farm. There is really loud noises and yeah. It's going to be hectic. So I'm going to turn down the sound slightly so you guys don't get irritated. And I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing. Because uh, it's it, this gap looks like you can walk through it, but no. It's it's more of a defense mechanism. So if you're coming down here, you can maybe see some zombies around. So you know to be careful when you come out. So it's this little roof area. I originally thought you wouldn't be bobbing up and down and make a good decal, but apparently in spaces like this, you can bob up and down, so... Uh, anyway, it's a good place to look out as well when you're coming up. Like, down here, you'll be able to see up, and if there's anything walking up there, you'll be able to... Early warning-ish. So, uh, this is... I'm going to show you guys down here in a minute. And up here, it's... I've just built, like, another section to it, and... It, it looks quite cool it, it's sort of cool it's like an add-on to like a stylish building so just come along here breed them and oh I really shouldn't be doing this I mean it's it's kind of cruel right so you breed them and I've done that before uh, and I've done that before uh, there are some baby cows or normal cows waiting to be slaughtered in this machine here as you can see they're fully grown now as you can't see the dispenser down there originally I had glass here as you can see there's a piece of glass there and a piece of glass there it was all glass up here and I still need to change these blocks because I was tinkering with it but basically it was all glass and the um, EXP from from killing them uh, and from breeding for that matter doesn't come up so I added these trap doors where they couldn't come through and they dropped straight down so that's working quite well and basically I, I think I showed the wiring for this but it's a basic timer, it's a dispenser down there that dispenses the lava and then retracts it. So I'm going to click it once, 
You can see that they're burning now. And if I come up here, in here, there's a dispenser underneath. And you can also see. Why is this place such. Uh, never mind. So, as you can see, the cows are all gone. There's a dispenser behind there. There's a chest here. And it's being filled with, up with leather and beef. And that's basically it. So, there is an item elevator under here. Uh, oh, 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 under here, sorry. And there is a row of hoppers going along here. And yeah, that's our that's our little collection of beef and leather. Now you move it out of this primary chest to the secondary chest, and that's pretty much it. This building is a bit sparse at the moment, and uh, yeah. And then looking at it, the layer of gravel here is not as noticeable as you first think. Because let's let's look back here, and you can't. I will stand here. You can notice a bit of it, but it blends too well into brick. At first glance, you notice the mossy cobble stone fences. Then you notice the glass, and then you notice the stone brick. Are you do you you rarely notice this gravel? I may change it later, but there's water behind it, so I don't want to tinkle with it right now. Uh, yeah, so that's the cow farm that we've been working on. Well, I've been working on, and let's see. These are potatoes. Yeah, I do, I do have potatoes here. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Oh, yes. Uh, since we got 30 levels from the little uh, expedition, as you may have saw before, I I had 29 levels when I left, so I just went to attack some stuff. And, yeah, it's level 30 now. Where are these books? I remember I had books here somewhere. I may have taken them outside. Yeah, as you can see, even the obsidian here is outrageous. It's, uh, I don't want to keep it this way. I'm going to change it to some lighter colors. Nope. Return that beef. Nope. Okay. I, I'm probably going to label these. I did try to label them before, but uh, it hasn't quite worked. Where are my books? I mean, the lever is basically for these books. Because uh, I want more books to do some enchanting. Ah, uh, come on. Where are these books? Let's see. Hello, books. Come out, come out, wherever you are. These are this is harder to find than... It is really hard to find. You wouldn't really expect from books. I mean, I commonly use them too, so... Oh, here we go. Here they are. Okay, let's go enchant a book and see what you get. But uh, with that zombie sp uh, spawner, I may move the uh, uh, an enchanting table actually down there. So I can do some enchanting. Ooh, power free. That's quite nice. Okay. Let's go do something else. So I'll be right back. Oops. Okay, so you may have just noticed I have just made some arrows, and the reason why I'm doing that is because we are going on a never trip. So I'm going to throw all of this use, uh, rather useless stuff in here, and we are going to the never. Let's throw this one in here, and I'm going to get, oop, I'm going to get ar armored up. But before we do that, I am going to go find a sign. I know I've got one in here. Yep, I've got one. And I need a color dye. I think we will go with... I'm sure I've got some flowers in here somewhere. It's strange. There are flowers everywhere, but I don't seem to have any. Let's see, we've got some yellow, and do we have some red? Nope, yellow will do, yellow will do. So, 
uh, over here we have all the names of the puppies we've named and it occurred to me the other day Stewie because from our old sand world we named a dog Stewie so let's see who has the honor you will have the honor of being Stewie Stewie is a yellow colored pup and Ted the third is the blue colored one and Shadow is the black colored colored one uh, you're Ted the third or Ted the triple I and I think Shadow Shadow is over there so here we go yep so if you guys want to name another pup then just put it leave it in the comments then and I will name them I soon will be building a little house for you guys so keep uh, keep your pants on I'll also be armoring myself up because I know how dangerous the never is so yeah it's quite a it's quite a dangerous trek especially for someone like me because I have no experience what I'm doing where am I here we go like so uh, we'll take some wood I think I've got some wood here somewhere where is my wood there is wood there's wood everywhere but I don't have the planks I just had some ah uh, who cares okay let's make some planks and we're gonna be using the torches here okay so that's pretty much us geared up there's no use taking water in there so I'm gonna leave that and we'll leave the book we got our stakes, we got our arrows, we got our bow, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, what we're going in with a plan is we're going to get a blaze rod because I need to start making some potions. Well, not really need, I would like to start making some potions because I probably need an area for the brewing stand in there. And if the enchanting table goes, I don't know. I'm going to plan that when I, when I get to it. So, Geronimo and yeah it's a bit trippy just, just ignore it just ignore it oh I thought you were like did we just hear a ghast? already? yeah that's definitely a ghast huh, the zombie pigman's using the stairs are you? <laughs> we're just pushing him down the stairs now this is the minecraft version of pushing someone down the stairs hey you yeah, I'm getting bored of this now. Let's uh, quickly move out. We've got our bow ready in case the gas shoots us. We're looking for a blaze for a blaze rod. Okay, is there any gas? Why is there a patch of... Strange, there are quartz everywhere. Okay, I'm going to go this way because... Oh dear, we see him. I really should have bought some blocks. It's okay, we got our super pick. Oh boy. Well, at least we know where we're going now. I can't seem to hit him. Okay, we're gonna leave him alone for now. Okay, he's not leaving us alone. Unbelievable. I don't have any enchantments on this bow. That's an experience orb. Should we go pick it up? Ah, we'll leave it. Because we're on a mission. No, 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 no. Okay, let's get some refuge. It's kind of dangerous in the nether because there's flowing lava everywhere and it flows as fast as water in the overworld. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, once you see it, it's really hard to avoid too. Okay, let's block you up. As you can see, it's, it flows much, much further and it catches you off guard. It caught me off guard a couple of times whilst mining in the nether. It's really worrying. 
I don't think I've been through this way because the quartz would be missing by now. So this is a good sign that we're in for a nether fortress. Hopefully we can get some good stuff like last time. And once we get to the nether fortress, I'm going to take a screenshot of the coordinates so I don't uh, lose my way next time. Oh boy. Come on, you. Two shots to kill him because we've got an enchanted bow. Yes, we got another gas here. I'm not sure which potions we need gas here. Oh boy. We need gas here, so, but I do believe they're really hard to get, so it's a plus that we get some tears. So much for being good with a bow. Yep, we got him. Sorry about that, I accidentally hit my mic. I think we'll go up here to try and spot one. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to spot. It's a big, great, whacking, dark structure. I am definitely going to get lost, I think. I am not collecting quartz today. Uh, I'll leave that for another trip. I need to save my inventory space in, in case some goodies come up. Let's go up here. Oh man, this, this pick is a bit too super. see over here it's quite nice to generate this kind of terrain it will probably be really fascinating to have the never terrain like inverted so all of this air area is actually land and never wreck and turn it upside down okay this is a big expansive area this looks pro this looks promising for a never portal and there is still lava so this is new newly generated area because there's still lava spreading always promising that's always promising come on we just need one never fortress we just need one never fortress okay let's go further this way I mean, this large expansive area is really good for finding one, because you can see farther away. Oh, what is that? Oh, uh, is that never brick? No, it's just a dark. You've got an enchanted sword. Interesting. Interesting, but I still wouldn't take him on for it. See, is there one hidden ways away here somewhere? Mm. Come on, it can't be this hard to find one. And you once you What's a weird structure? Once you find one, they're like everywhere after that, but you got you just gotta find that first one. Oh boy. Oh Huh. One oh yes. Feather falling and fire protection. Haha! I wonder if I take much fire damage then. I'll try it next time I see a fire patch. Is this still new air territory? There's no flowing lava. Oh! Nope, I hate that sound. Oh, he's over there. Let's run this way. No, this is new new stuff. Look, that lava's just just falling now. Okay, well, uh, there's some fire over here, so I'm gonna test out my logic to see if the fire protection works. Oh, I take no fire damage. This is good news. This is very good news. Mainly because I can just walk through these flames. But aha, we found one. I don't even care anymore. Yes, there's a blaze right there. See if we can nail it. We've got one. Oh, it's flying. I can't really accurately pinpoint where it is. Because if that blaze rod falls over the side, that's it. I have to find another one. 
Yes, we got it. Did it drop a rod? I think there's some EXP. But I think no rod. Yes, rod, rod. Got one. Ooh, we that's everything we came for, but let's let's throw a bit more of a gamble. Uh light up some torches. Always put it on the left hand side. This, this it's strange, once you light it up, this never brick doesn't look too bad. Just when you're building with it. Oh, this is all dangerous areas. It's very, very open. Wither skeletons are out bound to jump you here. They're just waiting and just I just know it. I'm gonna turn a corner somewhere. They're gonna be waiting for me. I'm gonna shoot they're gonna stab me in the back. Oh Okay, this is a new new area of the fortress. There's mushrooms. Does that signify anything? That's the end of the platform. Let's see if we can come up here. There's really really empty never fortress. Normally it's all integrated into the never rack. Oh, I think this is a room. Shame I can't really get into it. Does anybody else hear a blaze? Or is it just me going mad? Oh boy! That's just made it worse. Okay, let's go through this way. I don't know why I'm so scared. I think I could just jump in here. Can I? Yeah, I can just jump in here. Uh, with very little adverse effects. Not all immune. Oh, there's a blaze spawner up here. Oh boy! Why am I scared? The fire doesn't hurt me anymore. Okay, let's get a couple more blaze rods then. Ah. You can't hurt me. Or much. You can't hurt me much. Okay, all these blaze rods are good. This is our second spawner in one episode. This is uh this is looking good for us. I've got enough steaks to spare, I'm just gonna eat this. I think that closes it off. Yep, that closes all of it off. Hopefully the lava goes away. Huh. Is this Oh I just gotta say there's no more blazes spawning. That eleven should be enough for now. We just uh let's do this. Oops. Here we go, we got a screenshot of the coordinates and we will come back and we will do something with that. Strange. That lava still hasn't left. Is there another source up there? Oh, that's from a different source, okay. Let's keep exploring this. We want some goodies from this place. Uh providing that it has some goodies to get Ooh. Hello. Easy access glowstone. I really hate that glowstone breaking noise. Okay, this is this is like the start of a horror film right here. Uh, so wither skeletons are just gonna pop out and whoop my ass. That's the place we saw before, and that's the end. Yes, it is. Okay, let's come down here. I know this is a uh, this is like probably very old to everyone, but the never still freaks me out. I mean, on here it's called hell. It's when people say quite literally go to hell. I've been there and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not a pleasant pleasant place to be. Okay, this this ends. This never fortress isn't very isn't very chest friendly, I guess. It's a bit sparse. There's no blaze down there. We can uh, 
Load him up. Knock him back a bit. Oh, I think he went over the edge. I think he went over the edge. Nope. We got another blaze rod. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Actually, I'm not Millhouse. Oh, oh, that's a wither skeleton. Nope, we're not gonna knock him off the edge. Although he has withered me. Did, did anyone see a skull come out? No, it's okay. That was uh, quite it's a dangerous move. Is that another... That's another blaze spawner. Out in the open too. My arm is probably taking such a beating now. Okay, so that's another one. Let's do this. That's another another blaze spawner. It's, they're not close enough together, so I won't make a double blaze farm. But I think that one's easier to work with, less cutting. Is that a... No, I thought that was like a pillar of never brick. So less cutting out. But is this place solid or is there like... Yeah, I think this place is solid. I thought there were like rooms and compartments underneath. It's okay. Let's go this way then. Bit more exploring of the... Wait, you're a skeleton. What? Uh-oh. Alright, we got you. Just bones. No with a, with a head. Uh oh. That's another wolf skeleton. Yeah, that's another wolf skeleton. That's two more wolf skeletons. Okay, come on. Okay, that's two down. Still no skull. I think the drop rates are crazy for them now. Wow, this, this fortress is becoming bigger and bigger. Uh oh, hello. This is uh really crazy now. Okay, there's a blaze down there. There's a little magma slime. Oh, I think we've been here before. Yeah. This leads back to the original place. Okay, there's another passageway down here. Is that a floating sword I see? I can't really tell. Yes, it is. That's another floating sword. It's a, ne it's a wither skeleton, and I can't really see it clear enough against never brick. So all you see is that, that grey of the sword. That stone sword. Some bones, some blaze rods. Wow, this place is getting bigger by the minute. Alright, so I'm gonna probably end the record recording here and I will show I will come back to you guys when I see something a bit more interesting. There's another one over there. Thank you.